Hello guys, so in next few days I have some juicy decks for you because I actually made some weird decks that I really enjoyed and I really enjoyed playing them and they won few games, they lost few games, but we had a lot of fun and all of these decks are sort of viable as a super off meta pick, like very off. There is not like super big memes there, okay, tiny bit, but they are also very fun to play. Uh, so let's start with the first one and every day I will send you, I will show you a different deck. And first we have Bandit Skellige. So a lot of people ask me actually to play a neutral deck and I didn't want to play like full on neutral deck because I will leave this for Mersen if you know what I mean. Uh, but I wanted to make a tiny bit of it. And I chose to go with Battle Trans Skellige. So basically the idea is to uh, do a big Draco Turtle with Iris in round three. So how you want how you want to win in round one then? Uh, well, you have a lot of ships. You have priests that are very good bait for people to remove them and like use uh, big removal like Horati Heatwave, Invocation, etc. And also you can hide it behind the Covenant of Steel. Uh, and also in some cases you can even use Draco Turtle in round one uh, if you are not facing a, uh, anything that play Karate Heatwave or Yen Invocation or you are hidden behind Covenant of Steel. And you have also some tempo plays like, like Knickers, you have Crow Mother that you can use with Elf and Onion Soup and Gascon for some more, more tempo. And you want to uh, try to win round one, you want to get a lot of value from Priests, etc. And then you go to round three, where the idea is that you slam Draco Turtle, but you need to be sure that your opponent cannot remove it. Uh, you, next turn you play on it your Battle Trans Mardrom, and then you instantly play uh, Vladimir. It switches the armor and power, and then Draco Turtle has the tiny power, but a lot of armor. So look out for Philippa. And next turn you slam Iris on it, and both Iris and Draco Turtle boost by a lot of points. It can win you games, and it won me few games, uh, but of course it's super vulnerable to big uh, removal of Draco Turtle. But it's a very fun deck, it's a bandit deck. I tried a version with more bandits, but sadly it didn't really work. Uh, I had like Wagoon, I had like uh, these guys that boost when they have, have armor, and it's a cool idea, but you'd rather play without them. If you want a decklist, I can also show you the decklist uh, with like more uh, more bandits. And I think some of the um, uh, games that I have prepared for you might be from that deck. Uh, but I will show you just two decks, but I think this version is just better. So thank you very much for watching. Let's go to gameplay, both decks in the description below. And I will see you next time for more fun decks. Human should say. Hmm. Pretty decent hand, actually. Sure. Mm hmm. Oh, we have now bandit, so now this has zeal. Ah, a taste of Nordlink, is it? Hey Kivarmich, hello, hello, hello. Hello. Beaters forward. Let the hunt begin. <laughs> what we gonna play now? I can do this and I can play defender later. I all I or yeah. Because we can later summon Defender. So the idea behind this deck is to make the biggest Dragon Turtle. 
Big Big Drag Turtle. My duty to stick my nose where it doesn't belong. I'm so tired. <laughs> Uncreative game, you got. So yesterday I tried to play on pro rank and literally every deck I faced was Nilgat. In like first 15 games of uh, pro rank on pro rank, I think 11 or 12 were Nilfgaard double cross. It's like, how long can this go on? Oh no. Oh, he's putting bleed. That was greedy as hell. Mm. <clears throat> that I could care. Uh, don't worry, I'm gonna tank my MMR today so much that I don't expect any good results. <laughs> so I don't know what to do in this position because I can put a defender here so he cannot interact with my fingies, but I can put also here. So I block his coup de gras. Maybe the second is better. Who's next? Any use got the courage? My strong is now is self poison, but <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. That's the problem of uh, idea of self poison. That because other faction has poison as well, it can never be a meta deck. It's fun, but it never can it. Can never be a meta deck. It's too easy to counter it with other factions. And if you play like in current meta, Nilgard is gonna destroy you. A shame I had Mm-hmm. Uh, I wonder if there would be a cool uh, if there would be a oh, it it would be actually fun if there would be a card in syndicate that gives poison and veil for example at the same time. So what do we do here in this situation? I can actually play Gascon, but it's gonna be like a lot of points wasted. Mm. I can give armor to my Dracotar too, but that's, you know, that's not that good. Stick him up. High as the clouds. Now! I think we can pass now. Following with the same time is... <laughs> the problem of this idea is just... Uh, maybe it could work. It would be cool. Okay, he they get rid of this. I just passed, right? I don't know. He used a lot of resources. The problem is he can replay these resources or uh, make them stronger against poison. <clears throat> yeah, I, I that, that's the poison problem of. Uh... Oh, this is enough. This is the problem of self poison. That maybe they that re they require a lot of setup and they are easily countable. <laughs> I don't know what's the solution to be honest. But I would like to see it. <laughs> this is pretty decent head. Well I can look for something better. So I almost have my combo. Okay, he passed, that's cool. So my opponent used uh, an invo, which is great for us. 
The problem is that he can still get easily through Defender. So I cannot go for a greedy Dracotter too. This hand is great. I don't think I can... No. I can make it better. Oh no, I don't have that many bandits. Maybe I should use free company in round one, always. Yeah, I think I should use this card in card one. In deck, you know. Ah, in round one. Hmm. That's... This is not that good. Is it? Maybe I should craft it because I really like the card, uh, the artwork. The artwork is amazing. Mm. Fill your heart with that. It looks so cool. It looks like a painting, really. I love it. I love it so much. So the idea behind this deck is to make Draco Turtle as much armor as possible, then swap it. Swap power. Good, now I can use this. Uh, probably just like this. Yeah, I have like one bandit for free company. I should use it on round in round one. See, we are still right learning. There is but one punishment for traitors. <laughs> okay, we just slammed the Rakuter tool, right? I mean, I can't do anything else. So the idea is that next turn I can use Battle Trance on East, then swap armor with power. Should have purified this. Or operator. That's also an option. Oh, he's looking at my cards and he's like, what the fuck? He actually have a good counter, but I don't know if he sees it. The best counter is to just remove the armor from it now. From Dracotter 2. Yeah, if he do do that, I he basically ruined my combo. Wait, what? He messed up. He should have removed a uh, armor. Well, he still reduced the power of my. Well, at least I don't have good cards in my deck. See that this is beautiful amount of points. The problem is we are playing against Ball, so he he has like shit ton of removal left. Well, I don't want to damage it anymore, Mr. Opponent. Why would I damage this anymore? Wait. We won! We actually won! 
Humans have no place in Broccolon. Humans have no place in Broccolon. And broccoli. Okay, this might be a tough matchup if this is like a scorched version. Do you want to boost around the dwarves with Zoltan? Yes! I want. I added every card that spawns uh, Rowdy Dwarves and I want to boost them, but this is only like a package and I want to win other round with Harmony because for example to spawn as many Rowdy Dwarves as possible I also needed to add uh, Saskia and I thought maybe we can combine the two ideas This matchup might be terrible because I have... Oh, I wanted this to be hit God damn it, Rinikers. <coughs> oh, broccolon. Well, I can do that, this. Thank you. This will be my engine. Hey, that was my engine. So that's the problem. They have all they have is removal. Yeah, I can move the. I'll relieve you in that pouch. <laughs> hey, what he says? I okay, free. Oh, Eidaran, that's a good idea. I don't have Eidaran in that deck. Maybe I should add it. The problem with Eidaran is just... The Eidaran is just dying. How it's called? Strice of Spala. But Eidaran is a great idea. Looking to dance, mate? No, that was not What this. you looking at? No. I'll relieve you of that pouch. I'll relieve you of that pouch! <laughs> I'll relieve you of that pouch! So we know that he has bomb in his hand. Or maybe he used the bomb on my... No. He has a bomb. I'll relieve you of that pouch! Ow. Okay, my opponent is being very annoying. <laughs> I don't have any engines to be honest. We can just take Crow Mother to have a carryover. By the way, I can use Vladimir here for uh, 8 points. Then I break my combo, but I don't think I can use my do my combo against this guy. So, okay, in this situation I will just use... Uh, Covenant? Because I can summon one of it with my Sigvridas, right? But I wonder... Uh, well, I don't need to control which... Yeah, I think we do this. Because I don't have to control on which side of what unit this jumps, so I will use Sigrida's right on this easier. And with Draco Turtle, it, if it lands on the far right, it's sometimes awkward. <laughs> Klaus is chilling. This is good. So we want to bleed him, right? Mm. The problem is I expect him to have like karate heat wave and stuff.
Now he, if he use Madoc, I'm gonna gain points, basically. <laughs> I just want this to have armor. I don't care about this being a... Oh-oh! Uh -oh. Let's hope he doesn't have Karate Heatwave. And everything is fine. Oh oh. Uh, so this might look weird, but I'm not gonna. I can do this uh, like I pretend that I failed. Oh. Oh oh. Oh 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 oh. I should play it next to the Draco Turtle. Oh oh. Oh oh. But I didn't. Oh oh. I didn't play it next to Draco Turtle. Uh oh, oh. Oh, wait. That was the idea. <laughs> and he's like. Uh oh. Uh oh. No Karate Heatwave, though. Hey, Dada Mariani. Hello, hello, hello. And now, banga, 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 banga. Let's hope he doesn't have scorch. Hello, Gorg. We are on fire! 200% win rate with Bad Deed. Oh, Slap is good. Slap is always good. Oh no, against Syndicate. Yeah, Bandit seems like at least not against this. Uh, oh, they seem like decent. Slap. Oh, that was a bad slap. Ow! <laughs> hey, B Fox. <laughs> yeah, this is cheap, but I need this. <laughs> How are you going? Pretty good. We are. We have positive win rate with bandits. Every lock holds the key to this is OP deck. O P. Absolutely OP. Ha, he doesn't know what I play yet. Well, he will know sure, soon. Do you ask Bandiget to join them or they ask you? They actually approached me. Finish Strong Breaker story? No, I was too lazy. I kind of... I know this is like a... How we call it? Travesty? For people that care about Gwent, but I didn't like Thronebreaker. <laughs> I have to say it. I'm sorry guys, but I did not enjoy Thronebreaker. It was blocking as hell for me. I was like, please. Just end. I, 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 I did like half of it. But then I stopped and I forgot about it. Glorified mobile game? Yeah, it feels like. It's because in Throne Dragon you can play Hyperfit. That might be a case, actually. <laughs> no, I'm just... Like, there were some cool ideas there, but... It was just boring. Now he is like... Uh oh. Uh oh. He's reading the card. I love it. I don't even remember. I played the, the throne breaking when it was released and I played like... 
a while. What's good deck to reach pro? Uh, probably V, probably like from easy decks, probably Nilfgaard uh, ball. I mean, this season I got to pro rank with Enslave, so you can get with a lot of deck depending on how quick you want to do it. I got to with Enslave 6 to this season. You can use traps as well. There are a lot of decks that can get you to pro rank, but line pockets is probably the easiest one. I sort of enjoyed it, but I don't like all the annoying puzzles that the player couldn't avoid because they were so many. I actually, I think I, in the end, I was playing without uh, like games on like the easiest mode just for the story. You were hyper thin with Enslave? Yes, that's the old school. I played with hyper thin with Enslave 6, yes. Do you play Gwen's Hearthstone in TB or you drop it off earlier? What? Uh, I don't even remember. Ow. Ah, yeah. Ah, ow. 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 Oh, oh, I can't win with one card. This is fine. He will play one more card, right? Not overcoming to get all. He still got a win. <laughs> Uh, this deck is so stupid, it just vomits point. So I was playing Enslave yesterday, and look at this card, and look at the g card that boosts from Tactics. It's just straight up, this is just straight up better. <laughs> it's l one point, point lower, but it's a uh, engine. Oh my god. He really hates my Falcon Infantry. Damn. Yeah, I bought Thronebreaker mostly for the rewards in Gwent, to be honest. Taxi is better than crimes on their own. Well, are they? <laughs> like, look at the, I don't know, assassination and the payday. One is less flexible, one is can give you coins. <laughs> We have our combo. Six provision with four power. I don't know. <clears throat> they can be like, yeah, maybe. Tunnel drill shouldn't. So damage is worth more than boost. So if you want, spend like one coin for one damage, it's more valuable than spending one coin for one boost. And drill gives you two free damage for two uh, coins, which is crazy. It should be at least row locked. Shot of arrows. So my opponent is being annoying. I know it won't change much, but it's at least a nerf. The problem is that he can like gather the coins and then spend them on the drill. That's the biggest problem. You can use cards like pickpocket or like slender or whatever it's called. Or you can just gather coins and then like vomit the points when you just slam tunnel drill. That's the point, problem of coins, that you can bank them. That's why it's more, it's worth more than one coin per one, one point per one coin. It's worth more. Also, it's a carryover as well, or it can be carryover. 
Someone calculated some one day, but I don't remember. But yeah, it's something like one and a half point. Sure. Well, he's using a lot. The problem is he can kill it. It can be slammed to death. Uh, with cooldown it might be just crap. Like, if you don't remember, Turner Drill was trash for like, <laughs> always. Did you get the Nickers and I actually don't remember. I don't remember anything from Thronebreaker. Yeah, yeah, Drill is not the only problem, but... Oof. Do we actually play Covenant? Then we don't have our combo. I don't like not having my combo. Yeah, maybe I can replay it on stream one day. So we have a problem because we don't have a combo and he's bleeding us. But I can also win without combo, maybe. I can also kill this because it's a nice coin spender. We'll see what he does. <laughs> Should, I, don't, I don't remember. You can tell me anything and I will tell you. Oh my god, Philippa, don't. No, come on, man. Oh, ah. <laughs> Sorry. I got annoyed by Philippa, sorry. <laughs> that was me being annoyed. Now I don't... Oh, can you just pass? Because I want an engine, I want more targets, I could have played it, I want to play it now, maybe I should have played it already, uh, I just wanted to scare him, I want him, I want to scare him that he thinks that I like overcommit and he passes, that was my process of thinking, but I don't know if he wants to pass now, okay, this looks like he doesn't have a second poison though, <clears throat> because why would you damage something if you have poison on it? <coughs> well, look, Lent was his father, but Gandalf was his was life. <clears throat> yeah, this I remember actually. <laughs> Yeah, I played Witcher. Yep, I played Witcher 3. I even started on stream a replay of the Witcher 3, but I got bored. Oh yeah, I could have passed. Oh, wait a second, I actually could have. <laughs> but I got distracted. That's your fault. <clears throat> Hi, guys. I don't know if you ever stream, but if you stream, sometimes you don't pay that much attention to the what's happening on the game. <laughs> See, I'm looking here at the camera and the game is here and sometimes I don't really look at it. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Hey, I'm not planning to lose this game. What the hell? Oberon. Second. Bring me Fistek, then leave me be. Bring me Fistek, and then leave me be. Bring me Fistek, and then leave me be. Bring me Fistek, then leave me be. 
Bring me fist tech and then leave me be. <laughs> I'm not planning to lose this game. I don't know what are you thinking. By the way, I can use offensive blood dimmer of this. Bring me fist tech, then leave me be. Bring me fist tech, then leave me be. Oh, sorry. <laughs> because I don't want him to hit wave it, I'm gonna do it next turn. Why w I don't have to do it yet? So I'm not in a hurry to bring it. Like bring me fish deck, then leave me be. <laughs> hey, why don't work? <laughs> bring me fish deck. Then let me be. I like this one. Bring me fish deck. Card? There is one frog. So how many points is it on Vladimir on this? Like 10. We will see in a second. Because I actually can do... No, it's better to use it on Draco, right? Because then I make Iris bigger as well. <coughs> Bring me fish deck, then leave me be. Or like, bring me fish deck, then hit wave me. Uh, first, you leader first. You do this. Then you use this. <clears throat> and then you use this and you get double 18. So this was worth double 18 and this was worth seven. Yeah, six actually. Break me fish deck. Then dug on me. Bring me fish deck, then fog me. <laughs> Double 18. <laughs> One Draco turtle, two girls. <clears throat> However, more, most horses deck. Uh, I was thinking about it. So I think you already mentioned it, it Voidek, didn't you? <laughs> He's like wood. Uh oh <clears throat> Uh oh I am sadness Uh oh Uh oh Uh oh Uh oh Uh oh, <laughs> uh -oh. Piercing Whistle is not a card. <clears throat> no, show me your guard. Show me your guard. Show me your guard. <clears throat> Cake W. I told you guys that I'm gonna win this game. <clears throat> I told you I'm gonna win this game. Bandits are on P. 